Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play True to Grad with me, Bring It On. Let's go to the large cave. Give this another shot. We'll stop and camp first. And my companions take some condensed milk. I'll make some meat. Heal everybody up. I don't need plus one to my endurance. Well, does everybody get this? I got three experience points. Yeah, everybody gets it. Cool. I wasn't sure about that. Do that. Uh, let's see. Should be in good enough condition to see ourselves through that cave. Is that's what I'm hoping? I figured since I'm already addicted to drugs, I may as well take care of all the combat focused areas. I'll just keep pumping myself full of stimulants and uh, keep taking for my teammates. As long as they focus on me, we'll be fine. Then again, maybe not. It's shredding right through my armor. Alright. Actually, not what I want you to do. I want you to pull back. Just a smidge. Make sure that they are focusing the same one. So I don't want them to risk. I don't want to risk them healing. So just focus down one per round. We should be okay. Still be able to kill him, no problem. Actually, they're very bat like. They might not even use eyes. Maybe I should just be bopping him in the head instead. It's about the same damage. All right. Great success. Two, 
Is there four or five? I don't remember. Eh, I guess it's not a big deal. Alright. Who else lies in wait? Creepy stairs. Let's go this way first. No berries in this world that explosives can't fix. Got that right. Do 20 seconds. And get everybody as far back as we can. Tick tock indeed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, hello there. Got a lot going on back here. Brake unit. This version of the turbocharged engine was modified by Trudegrad Craftsman. It reduces power consumption at the same time increasing protection. I guess that's also for the special armor. What a scanner! Anything back here? All right, more fighting up ahead. Let's see. I only see. Let's see one, two. Is it only two? Is he over and covered? Is okay. Doesn't need that. Really doesn't need the beer either. It's not worth a ton. That'll do.
That was easy. Over encumbered once again. Um, I just use those throwing, throwing weapons at some point. I guess he doesn't need to carry these around. I'll carry these. You go back to carrying all the alcohol. Oh no, maybe not. He carries it for half, half weight. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. There are a ton of these uh, Nosferatu things dead in this area. I find it a little odd. Okay, so this area wasn't as tough as I thought. I mean, early on we don't have the damage or the protection to not die. And they can just repeatedly heal off of you. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. I'll look around one more time just to be safe. Blew up this, went in there. That's a whole bear. The prize is like something I can interact with up here. Yeah, looks like that was everything. I don't see any more piles of bones, so yeah, let's get out of here. We're gonna turn that quest to the honest people. We'll even swing by the outskirts one more time, sell some more stuff that we picked up here that I don't need. Some good work there. Smooth sailing. anything that I want or need. The 12, yeah, plus 12 percent of jamming chance. I am not interested in that. You're just wasting your turn. I'll just take a hit on this and get the, uh, get the money. He still has plenty of money. I'm tempted to sell this. I don't think that What's-Her-Face is ever going to get 6 strength. And no one else is going to use this. I'm just going to sell it. If I can get a ton of money for it, I'm going to actually save it and sell it somewhere else. But I will sell it. Actually, not do that. There's a booze merchant right beside us. We'll sell the stuff there. Boot. Uh, he's not bad. We'll hold on to that for now. Did I get money off of that? I didn't pay attention. I think I misclicked. 
What's fine. All right. Got some booze for you, buddy. And some milk. You can have that too. All right. Let's gonna turn this quest to the honest people. Let me go talk to Shrike about the next quest and go from there. See how far that gets us. I feel like we've read, yeah, we've read this one before. Demented kangaroos rings a bell. Hey, extra leveled up. Let's take care of that. All right, let's interrupt the execution, of course. Exogen's leveling. We'll have to wait. I guess we do it real fast. All right. more experience then the next level up or next perk will be best of the class which gives you three extra skill points and one ability point each time you gain a level where are these where are these jokesters at Fellas, So I hate being pushed around. Let's go take care of that guy. I should have picked a spot for Exxon to actually move to, because he might get stuck back here. AI can be a little wonky and Adam. Oh, here he comes. That's gonna have to stop. Oh, wrong weapon. Oh, these guys are actually starting to hurt me. I had over 100 health at the start of this fight. I might die. I did die. What? Well, I'll be. Was it right here? I think it was this one. Jeez Louise, I didn't expect to actually go down there. Imagine that. I got cocky. After all the fights we've been in, I, I thought, yeah, this would be a, a joke, but <laughs> I guess, I guess not. Yeah, they're going like straight through my armor. Well, 
I have never. And it might be worthwhile not focusing on a single enemy with my main character, since my stun chance is so high. I might just try to spread out my my swings to try and stun everybody. <laughs> oh man, imagine getting the elbow drop from a from an old man like Hexogen. a tough cookie right there. Alright, well. Went a lot more smoothly the second time around. Kids at. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I think they just get a lot of shots in the head that first fight, and I don't have a uh, actual helmet on. Extra cold protection does not help. Oops. Actually, all tabbed out. Didn't even realize. Go protection doesn't help against bullets. Am I going? Oh yeah, all the way over here. Mustache fellow in a green jacket runs up to you. After a quick glance around, whispers, Hey there, old bean. Shh, quiet. Try not to attract attention. Okay, listen. The thing you're after, we have it. And that hut across the warehouse. Get me? You found my collection of severed feet. Mustache man wags his finger at you and chuckles. It's not that simple, old bean. Quit fooling around. They only paid me to deliver this message. If you don't take it seriously, it has nothing to do with me. Any more details? What's in that hut across in the warehouse? Go and see for yourself. Everything will click when you do. Yeah. This is an ambush. Hundred percent. You open the door leading into a dirty, tobacco-smelling hut and find a group of men gathered inside. Some are warming their bones by a sooty stove. Two are playing chess, the others are resting on their sweaty bunks. Every one of them turns to face you. Well, where's this thing I'm supposedly looking for? Cough it up, fellers. The cutthroats look at one another and simultaneously lose a menacing cackle. The mustache man who led you here starts talking. Ah, oh, you don't get it, do you? Big Bow says hello, fool. Seize the initiative and attack first. You quickly duck and jump away from their line of fire. The electric barrel roll leaves your opponents confused and wide open for an attack of opportunity. Here I am. Now die. Ow. Where are you going, Hexogen? Oh, there's another door over here. Uh, 
There goes Mustachio. The Mustache Menace. The past couple of episodes have been a nice change of pace. Uh, combat's been a, li a little bit slower in this uh, expansion. But not lately. Using the wrong gun. Whoopsies. All right, more loot. One endurance, more black lotus. I don't think Uncle Ho is gonna like that. We've had the option to I'll report one of his workers. I guess we can report his worker now. Especially that, that since he's involved with the um, Black Lotus. A radio? What if we need that for evidence? A portable radio often used by mercenaries and traders to communicate and warn each other of danger. A note from Kun Zhao. The smell of fish, seawater, and soy sauce is emanating from this note. Listen well. The next batch of Black Lotus will arrive via our contact in the Honest People Society. I advise you to speak with them personally. I'd also like to add that our northern partners wish to sneak a terrorist cell into the city. We must rent a flat for them on Kolotushkin Street in Trudegrad. By performing this gesture of goodwill, you ensure our future cooperation. When done, report it back as usual, Captain Lang. Okay, yeah, Uncle is really not going to like this. Big Bow, working for Captain Lang. Shame on him. I'll run back? Okay. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll report Big Bow to Uncle Ho. Then we'll go turn in the quest at the Honest People Society. And then we'll go talk to Shrike at uh, the tavern. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.